All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a bed. Um, with a bed, you probably want to use the extended primitives. Um, we're probably going to go with, uh, let's go with a chain for box. And I'll show you why in a second. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to make the box, and then you can chamfer the mattress. Move that up. And let's, uh, let's zoom in here so we can see kind of where everything is. So that chamfer mattress looks good. Um, you know, we can move it up, we can move it down. And let's do the next one like so and then um, let's put on um, a headboard okay so now the headboard is actually what we can do is we'll make the small one first and then we'll we'll do the big one so let's go back to our regular primitives and let's start out with a box okay so we're just gonna make a box like something like like this first to start off with. Um, we're going to move this back over a little bit and I'm going to go to the modify panel and square it up a little bit, 2, 2, and say 15. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we are going to clone this or shift, shift copy, shift drag will copy and we're going to put that on that side. Okay. And then let's do um, some other pieces. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to just grab this and this is going to be the kind of that baseboard if you will and then let's grab um, this one and let's go all the way over here and we can resize these and change these around so and just want to make sure that the baseboard so if this is box uh, whatever 40 and it's uh, 1 point um, or 1 point two wide you know just go round everything out a little bit 1 point2 and say this is three so you know nice even round numbers so then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna select this stuff real quick here and we're gonna hit isolation mode so we can see where we're, where we're, what we are working with. Okay, so this one I'm going to move over like so. And I'm probably going to center this one in this box here. Um, let's and, and a quick way to center is to do an align. So let's grab this align to here. But we're not going to center, center, center. What we would instead want to do is we don't want to do with the... Um, the Y position so and we don't want to do deal with the the uh, Z position we're just going to do the X and that's really all that we need so there's there's that one and that's set I'm going to just delete this real quick um, let's look at this one here so I made this 1.2 by 3 let's make this one height of 3 and then let's give it the same thickness so 1.2 Oops like that and again we're gonna grab this one and align it to this here and again we don't we don't want the X position this time we were gonna want the Y position um, and that's okay and then what we're gonna do is also apply and align to this and now what we're gonna do here is go off of this and uh, we, we want the Z axis okay and the z-axis will line it up so that it should be the same same size. So that looks pretty good there. Um, so we basically created part of the bed frame here. Um, and eh, it looks okay. Everything looks good. Uh, 1.2. Let's uh, grab these and let's just move these over a little bit so we can actually move these over. And uh, let's put this down a little bit like so and not so far down though that uh, something like that so we've got that um, and then it looks like we're good there um, so we just need to extend this a little bit more um, and it extends in the center 
So we're just going to have to kind of test our boundaries. And then pretty much drag this one over until we like where it's at. Actually, before we do that, select both of these and shift drag those over. And say OK. And make sure that's lined up relatively, you know, in a decent manner. And then let's put another, um, let's put a another box here. Uh, let's just basically go up like this. This is going to move up. And let's put a little, little, little rounded on the headboard. Nothing, nothing fancy, but we'll we'll make do with that. So again, I want to keep that same 1.2. And then uh, let's put some segments up on the top here. So yeah, that looks good. And then we can convert this to an edible mesh or an edible poly I like. And now a lot of people will try to manually grab these vertices and pull and twist and drag and, and uh, do that. Um, that's okay, you can do that. Um, there's a simpler way though. Grab and put a FFD box on there. And what FFD is basically freeform deformation box. Actually, I don't want the two by two. I want the three by three, and I'll show you why in a second here. Um, the three by three. Once you go into the control points, you can simply grab this one and pull up, and you simply created your headboard headrest, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so that looks good. Um, I'm going to just move these over so that it's lined up. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece, and I'm going to shift drag this over to the side of the headboard, and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab these, and I'm going to move these up to a height of 20, and same one with this one over here, and I'm going to move this up like so yeah, something, like, something like so and then if you want another simple way to grab the FFD is we'll just grab the bottom part of the FFD and just drag that down so it doesn't look so funky and that really really good okay so we got matching headboards um, base the next thing we need to do is we need to add in uh, so I'm going to add a little decoration. Um, uh, let's see here. Let's go back to this mode. I'm going to just pick the top of this. That's top of this here. And let's do a zoom. And then let's zoom up onto the top here. And then let's grab a uh, spline. And again, we're going to do something very simple. It's going to go up, and something like that. And again, we're going to use that lathe modifier. You know, and sometimes this is this is you know takes really simple, and and the lathe modifier fixes everything that you need. Um, if I can find it, here we go, lathe. Um, again, we're going to do minimum, and it looks like we've got that, right, like so. And eh, roughly centered, something like so. Um, we can actually grab this one and move it over here. Say OK. And then let's cheat and just uh, grab this one here. Hit Shift and clone this one over here. And then let's just make sure it's on the right spot here. So all we have to do is just move it up and so. And I'm just centering this. If you want, you can align it with the Align tool. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a uh, plane and I'm gonna just 
click off of everything here. Zoom extends all. I'm going to take this plane and I'm pretty much just going to make it something like so. And let's move this up here. And move it over a little bit. Now, the plane goes into the editable mesh. Now, this is the way to model it. This is not the way to create it for what would be called um, your cloth modifiers and stuff. I'm just going to model this real quick. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab these two here. And I'm going to pull those down. And see if we can just scale those inward. All right, like so. And now that looks really horrible as far as a bed goes. But what happens when you go here? And let's uh, ring this. Oh, I'm sorry, loop. Loop that side. And let's loop that side. And let's just chamfer this. And I'm going to use the chamfer button. Okay. And the chamfer button is going to give you how many chamfers you want. So you can round it out a little bit more and how far apart the chambers are. So let's just kind of rough it in there. And then if you need to, you can always move oops. Move the vertices over like so. And then we can put either like a bump map or something on there. Um, you know, uh, something on there basically to give you the illusion that there's dents and wrinkles in there. And I'll cover the unwraps in a little bit. Um, so that's that's good. Um, you know, if you want, you can kind of work on it and get it a little bit tighter. Um, another thing you can do, and it's a really simple way to do this, is you select the border. And the border selects everything. And you hold shift down like so, and then for something like this we would scale shift inward, and so that way when you look at it, it's, you know, it's really simple, but when you look at it, you've got kind of a, a loop on there that, that goes through. Now you can go in and tweak it. I'm not going to do it in this tutorial, tutorial, but you can go in and tweak it and do what you need to do. Um, so that gives you the thickness to the blanket, um, and I think that would work fine. And then let's do pillows. So, you know, really simple. Uh, let's go back to our chamfer box. And uh, let's put our chamfer box up here. Yes, that looks like a brick. But for now, um, that looks OK. Uh, so there's our brick pillow, but what we're going to do is again, we're going to go to modifiers and let's add in that 3x3 three three again. again. Um, yeah, let's actually let's, before we change, before we do anything like that, let's add some more geometry in here. And um, I'm just going to add a couple for now. I'm not really worried about what how many I have in there. Um, we'll optimize this later. Um, but so we got the chamfer box. Let's add that three by three in there. Um, let's go to the control points. First thing on the control points, let's grab the two outer edges and let's scale those. Actually, you know what? I don't like this three by three, so I'm going to drop it real quick. Let's add a um, four by four. This gives me a little bit more control points to play with. And then, then there's an FFD where you can actually go in and do what you want. So we're going to scale this downward. Um, let's grab these outer points here, like so. Actually, let's undo this. And let's grab the outer points. One, two, three, and four. Let's scale. Oops, that didn't work good. 
Let's zoom in on this so I can see it a little bit better. Okay, so let's grab the inner points here, scale this one up a little bit, and then let's invert the selection, see if this will work. And let's scale this all down a little bit. And then this is where you can, you know, kind of go in. You know, you can kind of go in and grab these points and just move them about so that it's a little bit deformed. You know, it doesn't have to be anything special. You know, twist them around. Um, and so you pretty much just play around until you get the pillow you like. Then what you want to do is just rotate that pillow, shove it up against the bed, so on and so forth. And then basically that's a simple way to do a pillow. Um, let's move this and say okay. So there's our pillow. We can put a pillowcase on there. So there's our bed.